This is ICSC annual paper, annual exam question paper for the subject biology of class 9th session 2019-20. Children, this is part 4 of the question paper series discussion and let's start with the discussion. This is question number 4 of section 2. Let's start with the first part of question number 4. Given below is an experimental setup to demonstrate a particular process in animals. Answer the questions that follow. Children, let us find out what is this experiment. In the center, a mouse is kept and on both the sides of the mouse, two bottles are present. Both the bottles contain lime water and they are labeled as bottle A and B respectively. In bottle A, an inlet pipe is attached through which the air passes in al across the soda line. This means that as the air moves in, it passes through the soda line. And in bottle B, there is no such soda line present. So let us answer the questions related to this experimental setup. The first question is, name the physiological process being studied. Children, as in this process, gases are involved and living organism is kept. Therefore, this process is respiration. Now in the next question, we have to define this respiration. We have to define the process mentioned in the first one. So you can take the definition from here. Respiration is the chemical process of releasing energy by breaking down glucose for carrying out life processes. Now children, the third one is what is the function of soda lime? Soda lime absorbs the carbon dioxide. The fourth question is, after few hours, what will happen to the lime water in bottle A and bottle B? Give suitable reasons for your answer. Children, in this setup, you can see that as air is passing in, it goes through soda lime. So, soda lime will absorb all the carbon dioxide. Only oxygen will move inside. Therefore, the lime water present here will remain clear because no carbon dioxide is present in the air as it is absorbed by soda lime. So, in bottle A, after few hours, carbon dioxide is not present, therefore it remains clear. Whereas, as the gas free from carbon dioxide moves in the second beaker, that is through the mouse, it takes the oxygen and releases carbon dioxide. Now, this carbon dioxide passes through bottle B and turns the lime water milky. So, after a few hours, bottle B lime water will turn milky. Now, the fourth question, sorry, the fifth question is, write a balanced chemical equation for the process carried out by the mouse. So, we can see this equation later. Let us uh, quickly revise the answers written. The first answer is respiration. The second definition I have already told you. The third one is soda lime absorbs all the carbon dioxide. The fourth one is in bottle A, lime water will not turn milky. Lime water milky nahi hoga. Kyoki carbon dioxide ko pehle hi soda lime ne absorb kar liya hai. To wahaan par carbon dioxide free air ja rahi hai. Ab iske baad jaysay hi wo oxygen wali air uh, rat will inhale. Rat jaysay hi usse inhale karega, it will re re release carbon dioxide that passes through the lime water in bottle B. Aur wo lime water jo hai, wo milky ho jayega. Ye chemical equation of respiration. This is a glucose molecule, C6H12O6, reacts with 6 molecules of oxygen or hume milta hai 6 molecules of carbon dioxide, 6 molecules of water, 38 ATP molecules and 420 kilocalorie of heat. Now children, let's move on to the second part of question number A. This part is also of 5 marks. The first one is biceps and dash are dash muscles causing opposite opposing movements. Children, antagonistic muscles are responsible for causing opposing movements. So, the two muscles are biceps and triceps and they cause antagonist, they are antagonistic muscles. Now, the second blank is dash is the largest digestive gland in the human body and secretes dash. Children, liver is the largest digestive gland and it secretes bile juice. Now the third one is pasteurization. Wait. Pasteurization is heating milk to a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius and then chilling quickly. The answers are written here. You can pause the video, watch the answers and then move on to the fourth one. The fourth one is glucose is incompletely broken down to ethyl alcohol in plants during anaerobic respiration. Anaerobic means in the absence of oxygen. 
and the last one is scrubbers are devices to remove gaseous and particulate air pollutants now children here are the answers of the remaining two blanks now let's move on to the fifth question the fifth question a part is the diagram given below shows three bean seeds placed at different levels answer the question children this is a beaker which is half filled with water we will take a slide and at three position we will fix the three seeds and these three seeds are at different levels one seed is completely dipped in water another one is present in between receiving both water and air properly and the third one is present in the air now children let us find out the questions what changes will you observe in the seeds a b and c after few days explain suitable reasons the first one the seed a will receive water along with that it will receive very small amount of air dissolved in the water therefore it will not germinate properly a very small amount of radical or plumule emerges and then it stops germinating now seed b is present in between rece receiving water and oxygen properly therefore proper germination will occur in this seed now seed c is present on top at the top receiving only air and no water therefore no germination so the answers are in seed a a very small radical arises and then stops germinating because it gets water but very little oxygen in seed b proper germination will occur because it receives both water and air in seed c no germination at all because it receives air but not water now the next question is name the part of the seed that provides nutrition for the growing seedling children cotyledon stores the food material therefore it is the part of the seed that provides nutrition for the developing embryo or the growing seedling the third one is draw a neat and label diagram showing the internal structure of a bean seed now you can uh, take the uh, see the diagram here this is a dicot see the bean seed structure these are the two cotyledons this is the plumule region with rudimentary leaves and this is the radical region radical forms the root and the plumule forms the shoot system children the distance between the axes of the uh, with the ax from the axis with the plumule is called as epicotyle whereas with the radical it is called as hypocotyle the outermost covering is called as testa whereas the second covering is called as tegment so this is the structure of a bean seed coming back to the next question what type of germination does a bean seed show bean seed show epigeal germination epigeal germination means germination above the earth surface you will get to know about epigeal germination in the chapter seed the fifth question is mention the parts of a flower which form the fruit and seeds children ovary present in the flower forms the fruit whereas the ovule present in the flower forms the seed you can take a look at the answers by pausing the video you can write th those answers and then move on now the second part of this question is give biological explanations for the following statement the first one is a bat is a mammal leguminous plants increases soil fertility earthworms are very useful in agriculture roughage is very important part of our diet and living rooms in our houses must receive direct sunlight for few hours so a bat is a mammal because it gives birth to young ones this is a characteristic feature of mammal and they also take care of them and mammals have hairs on their body and bat also has therefore bat is a mammal the second question is that leguminous plants increases the soil fertility so let us see the answers because leguminous plants have nodules on their roots suppose this is the root they have small small nodules on their roots and in these uh, nodules nitrogen fixing bacteria are present because plants do not have the ability to take the nitrogen directly these nitrogen fixing bacteria convert the atmospheric nitrogen into ions ammonium ions that can be easily taken up by the plants therefore these leguminous plants increases the fertility of the soil they increases the nit nitrogenous content of the soil the third one is earthworm helps in agriculture let us see the question first of all 
earthworms are very useful in agriculture so the answer is earthworm aerates crushes and mixes the, in the soil earthworm goes deep in the soil they make a hole in that therefore oxygen proper properly enters there that's why we say it aerates crushes and mixes the soil and it also keep interchanging the top layer of the soil with the lower layer along with that it removes the its undigested residue as it go, moves down it takes the soil inside the body and ex and that soil particle is removed from the other side that increases the humus content of the soil making the soil more and more fertile now the fourth question is roughage is an important part of our diet beta roughage is the fibrous content of our diet so it absorbs lot of water and it stores it it retains it that makes the fecal matter soft therefore it can pass through intestine easily and roughage prevents the problem of constipation so i hope the function of rough, roughage is clear to you all now the last part of this question is living rooms in our houses must receive direct sunlight for a few hours children because the living rooms in our houses uh, if receive direct sunlight it keeps a pleasant environment in the room and along with that sunlight has the capability to kill or microbes or microorganisms that's why living rooms should have proper sunlight for some time thank you this was about the discussion of question number 4 and question number 5 the remaining questions i will discuss in part five of this question paper discussion series please like share and subscribe thank you